George Santos, a newly elected Republican congressman from New York, admitted last week to lying to voters about his resume, including his personal and professional experiences. He has faced growing condemnation and is now under investigation by federal and local authorities. Some of the lies that Santos told include claiming to be of Jewish heritage, falsely stating that he graduated from Baruch College and worked at Citigroup and Goldman Sachs, and making false claims about his real estate holdings. Questions have also been raised about his campaign finances, with reports suggesting he self-funded $700,000 of his 2022 campaign despite only earning $55,000 in 2020. Despite calls for an investigation, it is not clear if there is any desire among a majority of Republicans to expel Santos, who represents a key swing district and has vowed to support Rep. Kevin McCarthy in his bid for House Speaker. As a result of his admitted lies, George Santos is facing investigations from the Eastern District of New York, the Nassau County District Attorney, and the New York Attorney General's Office. In addition, Brazilian authorities are reviving fraud charges related to a 2008 incident involving a stolen checkbook. Santos has been called on by fellow House Republican Nick LaLota to undergo a full investigation by the House Ethics Committee and, if necessary, law enforcement, and there is likely to be pressure on House Republican leaders to address the issue as lawmakers return to Capitol Hill. While Santos was elected and must be seated, he could potentially be ousted from his seat if a two-thirds vote in Congress is obtained. However, it is unclear if such a vote would be successful. In the meantime, Santos is set to be sworn in as a freshman congressman on Tuesday, despite the ongoing controversy surrounding his candidacy.